What's up guys and welcome to Work Wednesday. Today I'm gonna to talk about a controversial one. I'm gonna talk about whether or not you should play for free and when it makes sense and when it doesn't make sense. And before you just click out of the video, there's a lot of good points here. So try to stick around, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And well, here we go. So a little background on myself. I do own Copper Sound Pedals, but I don't take any money from Copper Sound Pedals. It all goes back into the company. My living is paid by playing music for people in venues and online and recordings and stuff like that. So in general, just so everyone kind of has an idea, I make a very good living. Uh, I own a house. I'm actually selling my house and upgrading, but it pays really well. And this is how I got there financially by making these decisions. So here it is. To make it easy, I'm gonna split it into two things. One is playing for free for a band and one is playing for free for a venue. Now, just to make it a short video, here it is playing for free for the band. I did do for about six months, not the whole time I collected money whenever I could, but I did take some free gigs because I was networking just like you pay to go to college to network. And trust me, you're paying to go to college to network, not to learn because you can learn the same thing you learn in college anywhere in the world. And YouTube is an example of that. Anyhow, moving forward from that conversation, just like paying college to network, you're playing for free to network when you're trying to build your reputation as a player. So I didn't do that solely, but I did that here and there to make sure that new musicians that had never heard me could play with me and if you think about it that way, every time you play with a band, you're exposing yourself to five musicians who generally play with other people. So they'll go tell their bands and word will spread. And so soon, a small town like Boston, even though it's packed with musicians, your name will get around in a good way. So do I agree with playing for free from time to time with musicians? 100%. That's how I got my start. That's how I got my name out there. The flip side, of this whole scenario is playing for free for a venue. A lot of musicians as a band will choose to play for free for a venue. Never do that. Don't play for free. Don't play for tickets at the door. All those things are bad ideas on the venue's part and you shouldn't bring yourself into it. And here's why. A venue you cannot network with. Venues are in direct competition with other venues. Bands are not. There's plenty of work for bands. So your band members play in other bands when you network with them, your word spreads of your playing to other bands because musicians are generally pretty friendly and share information that way. Venues do not. The venue right here doesn't want to share with the venue next door unless they're co-owned or unless it benefits them in some way, and it won't. If you bring, well, if you're a good musician and you have a good following, or if you're a good musician and people come to the venue because, man, that night you just killed it, if they hear that you're playing next door the next night, they're going to go next door, maybe, instead of coming to this venue. So the venues don't want to share. So establishing yourself with a venue that doesn't want to pay you isn't going to network you to another venue because they're not going to tell the venue next door, this guy's great, you should hire him. They're going to be like, this guy plays for free and he's great, or girl, and I want to keep them for myself. Also in general, I don't like the approach of venues when this happens because you get things like this. On Craigslist about a decade ago, there was this coffee shop in Dorchester, which is South Boston. And it used to advertise looking for bands to play for free with a promise that as things grow, they will be paid. My response to that ad was looking for coffee for free. When I get money, I will start paying. It's the exact same thing, exact same thing. There's no difference, none at all. So. And that happens a lot. The other thing is venues that charge at the door. Here's the problem with that. They want a band with a big following. The problem with hiring a band with big following only to tax their patrons for watching them. It's not sustainable. Meaning if the patrons do follow that band every single time they play, which to be honest, if you're playing three nights a week, the same people aren't coming three nights a week. They're coming once a week, maybe once a month. So anyway, the logic there is flawed because they're assuming that you'll bring in a thousand people to their venue or whatever, a hundred people, but let's just be dramatic. And so they'll tax them 
right? $10 a piece. And so you'll get $10,000 as a band. Great. The problem is the next night you're playing somewhere else. Those patrons aren't staying at that venue. It's a flawed thought process. So if you own a venue and you're hearing me right now, keep this in mind. Just hire good musicians, pay them well, and I guarantee your venue will start doing well. Guarantee it. It's happened every time I've played somewhere in the last 20 years of my life. So anyway, that's my rant on money. No, that's my rant on playing for free. Uh, let me know if you disagree in the comments. Also like the video, it helps me a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow for Theory Thursday. Take care. Uh -huh.